So when we're talking about extremely corrugated stickers, uh, sorry, surfaces, this is the um, surfaces that I was talking about, like rubber. Okay, so, um, well, MacTac actually has a, a sticker for that for rubber surfaces like the grocery belts. But generally speaking, when we're talking about those types of, and, uh, it, you, can har you will hardly find a sticker that can adhere to those surfaces. Okay. All right. Also, for um, extreme conditions or extreme environments such as that, um, that sticker is actually for, as you can see, we've actually put it on water. Okay. So you actually need a very high grade of sticker to be able to put a sticker on something that will go on the water and act will actually stay there, even when you're constantly in that type of condition. Right? And the most extreme of all are the ones that you put on the planes, okay? With the, with the maximum uh, of whatever so many miles. Adhesive failure. This is another problem. Like I said, stickers in general have a certain dur duration that you need to follow. If your supplier says this can stay for only a year, you need to follow that. This can stay for only six months. You need to follow that. Because if you don't, this is what will happen. Because there's a reason why they're giving you that duration. Because the quality or the, the way that the sticker is made is only good for that duration. So you need to follow that. Otherwise, you're going to have that effect. Adhe this is what we call adhesive residue, okay? If you look at this truck, there's a lot, uh, there's like, it's pretty much covered with this black film, right? That's adhesive. What normally happens is, if a sticker stays too long over the, rec the, the recommended duration, essentially what happens is, is the sticker adheres too much on your surface. It adheres too much, and then when it's time to peel off, you can't peel it off anymore. You need, to, you need to either use a thinner or sometimes scrape it off. That's the problem with adhesive residue. A lot of my clients say, well, I don't really care about adhesive residue. I just want a cheap sticker. All well and good, that's fine. But what if your client comes, so what if your client comes back to you? Okay, I like the way you did the first time. Let's change it again. When you peel off that initial sticker that you put on and you see that adhesive, do you know how long it'll take you to take that off? A long, long time. So you better, you're better off just doing it right from the start. If you tell, if your client says, I want it up for one year, get the right sticker and don't have that problem. Okay? And the last one, this is actually the brittling. Okay, your sticker actually becomes very, very brittle. Because you have to remember, your sticker is actually made out of plastic. It's plastic. If, you, if you've ever seen a plastic toy left under the sun for a long time, it becomes brittle as well. And then it cracks. Right? Same thing with your sticker. It's exactly the same thing. What happens there is that when, when it's too much under the sun, when it's exposed too much under the sun, what will happen? It'll actually start cracking. And when you start cleaning your van, stickers will be chipping off. Like they're really hard um, chips rather than sticker. Okay? So that's what you need to look out for. You need to make sure that your sticker is, you're using the sticker with the right recommended duration. Otherwise, these are the problems that you're going to be facing. Okay. So again, this is what I mean. Not all stickers are created equal. Because a lot of people think that, you know, because they all look the same, they probably are the same. Okay. All right. Okay, so basically with us, we're again, I'd like, just like to remind you, we're in booth 51 to 54. If you'd like to know more about MacTac stickers, please come visit our booth. I'll be there as soon as this one this presentation's finished. Um, we are also going to be introducing or launching our new product, the Olfactive System. The Olfactive System is actually a 
stuff laminate that actually absorbs odor. Perfect for um, bathrooms or fast food restaurants and all those sorts of um, establishments. So please come visit us. It's, uh, we're actually going to be demonstrating that right after this presentation. And just to give you the offering training. So for those of you who have large format printers, please come visit our booth and inquire about this. Um, we actually, in quantum media, we actually believe that we need to educate our clients. We don't just sell you stickers. We need to make sure that you are using the right sticker for your applications. So this is what we're, um, so basically our free technical training will include material handling, um, guide to sticker printing, and also sticker installation. And for the product training, we actually give you a full presentation of all the products in, uh, in the MacTac range. Okay. Are there any questions? Any questions from the floor? Firstly, we would like to thank everyone who came to the activity area to join us. For those who still want to drop their cards, um, any questions so far regarding the presentation of Quantum Media? Any questions, sir? Anything you'd like to know more of or about? No? Okay. No? okay. So we'd like to invite you once again to yeah. booth number 51. Yes, 51 to 54. To 54. We've, um, we've, al we've already displayed there are the rough, uh, the sticker for rough um, textured surfaces, as well as our new um, um, interior decor um, series, also for self adhesive films. Okay? Uh, hope to see you there in our booth. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Um, before we end this program, may I ask Miss Iris to draw two names? Ah, okay. um, Tom B. Sirio of Sir A Tom? G A J E T C. Oh, hi. Thank you, Sir Tom. Thank you. Rosemary Lim, Sulu Star. Thank you so much, ma'am. Please visit their booth. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Right. Fruit Magic is uh, the one that pioneered the juicing business in the Philippines. We are running a school offering from prep to high school. Initially, we started out with the core business of shoe repair. During the 1980s, during the start, it was basically shoe repair and heat education. Our industry is into manufacturing and distributing of perfumes. Communication is very, very important uh, in our company. And I must say, communication is also very expensive. Communication is key to be able to manage operations as big as our company. In 2008, I registered all the managers, the supervisors. Maintenance, deliveries. Every department uses something to communicate with each other. We were able to provide each store its own San to San call and text unlimited line at 350 pesos a month. This is the best product we have. Currently, we subscribe to Sun's message cast service to inform our franchisees that are coming up, to inform our customers about new promos, new products, new services, you know, and also our franchisees. save more than 50 percent. Sun has been a very practical choice for our company. Basically, because, first of all, it's affordability. There was a significant decrease in telecommunications cost. Sun Cellular has been very instrumental all throughout the communications process of our operations. Because of Sun, uh, we are able to help and extend our support to our parents and students. Sun plays an uh, important role because we could get in touch with our... Our next presenter will be Emerge Systems.
We are inviting our trade visitors to proceed at the TVT area for the free lecture and get a chance to win in our raffle.